Okay, next. Ooh, there's just beautiful things popping out everywhere. <laughs> All right, we have this piece. Oh, this has like bubblegum, thermoset, lucite. And this was $7.50. Let's just, let's just take in this opulence. <laughs> this is so, oh my gosh. Look at this. <gasps> this is so pretty. Okay, okay. So this was only Five. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at this. It kind of has like a Damascene look to it, where it has a white enamel that's like pooled in the raised uh, metal, but it's not Damascene. It has a very colorful AB coated rhinestone, all in really, really great shape. Um, so this is actually from a country, and it's actually beautiful. We're just not even gonna, we're just not even gonna talk. This is just so old and beautiful. Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller, and I have jewelry for you guys today. I am not wearing much jewelry today because I'm fully anticipating by the time these videos are done, I'm going to probably have rings on, earrings on, all the, all the things. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I think I, I'm going to be doing like three parts to, um, this haul because I spent over or around $800 for all this jewelry. And granted, some of this jewelry was only like $2 a piece. So I have a lot of jewelry from my vacation up north. So we're gonna start with this bag. This has a lot of the $2 jewelry where you dig through, find matches, and things like that. And then I also purchased some other really great things. So if you wanna learn about jewelry or you just love looking at jewelry, beautiful things, or you want to learn more about reselling jewelry, um, yes, let's get into this haul. Okay, so. Here we have this bag. I know it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot in here. I have my water here. Um, I have, I'm anticipating this to be a longer video. So grab yourself something to drink while we look at a lot of these beautiful things. Um, we're going to probably start with the things that are wrapped up first. Now, these are things that I paid full price for at the antique store. I'm not sure if they have their price still on it, but these are things that I paid regular price for um, so that I can resell them for profit on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. And then if you want to buy anything directly from this YouTube video, go ahead. I'm going to put up on the screen. Go ahead and email me at lilyworksreseller at yahoo.com, the title of this video, and timestamps of which items you would like to buy and we can figure out um, a deal. Ooh, there's two things in here. All right, so this one was four, four dollars. And this was, uh, this is a lovely bracelet. Okay, so a lot of older vintage bracelets, costume bracelets, were just made so much nicer than the costume bracelets now. Very good weight to it. And it is marked on the back. Let me show you. Right there, it's marked Monet. So, Monet, like a, a textured chain link gold tone bracelet for $4. Yes, I'm expecting at least $20 for something like this. And it's about 7 inches. It used to have a safety chain. It no longer does. If it had the safety chain, even better. Um, definitely... If, if you don't see a maker's mark, and it, but it's a, it has a safety chain, just um, either look a little bit harder to see if there's a mark somewhere or describe it with safety chain because things are a little bit better made when it has that extra feature or it might have like a little safety clasps along the side just to secure it a little bit more. All right, now I can't get it off. <laughs> there we go. Um, 
yeah, so there's that one. And this was in, like, there was, I've been in this store several times now. It is a tourist stop antique store <laughs> that is very busy all of the time. Um, and But I've never been in this section where they have, like, a cabinet type thing and the jewelry is labeled bracelets, brooches, necklaces, and you open the drawers to see the jewelry. And now I've never seen them before. And my mom was like, hey, did you see this? And I was like, oh, no, I haven't. So there's just a bunch of jewelry in there all tangled up. I'm sure a lot of people missed that as well. So yeah, because usually you're looking for jewelry out, um, specifically out up from behind the glass, just so you can look at it with your <laughs> up close and personal look for marks and things. Oh, ho, ho, okay. All right, so let's see, how much did I pay for this? Six dollars. But this is, if you guys can see, this is marked. There's a cartouche right there. Now this is something that I collect. So if you guys know me, if it's something that's going up into my collection or something I'm going to be wearing upstairs in my bedroom. All right, I don't feel the lighting is that great. Let me see if I can move this over. Um. You guys know that I tend to price things up, and if it sells to a collector, it sells. But um, this one is a Made in Austria piece. Now, this has, like, clear and smoky rhinestones. I hear Pemberley. <laughs> okay, so Pemberley, she's she just turned four. And she's working right now with Daddy to say some words clearly. Like, right now, she's saying open the door and she can't say the words um, like girl or world. She has to say gale and wailed. <laughs> and there's some other things. She has a lisp. Um, so yeah, anyways, really cute. But we're, we're, we're working on it. Anyways, uh, gorgeous. Definitely made in Austria pieces are collectible. Um, as you know, made in Czechoslovakia pieces, collectible. And really gorgeous prong set with the two different colors and marked on the back. Yay. Okay, next. Ooh, there's just beautiful things popping out everywhere. <laughs> I see at least three. Okay, what do we see here first? Okay, every single time I see this specific piece, you guys might recognize it yourself. Um, let's see if you guys know. Whenever I see this piece, either behind glass or something, I'm always like, oh, look at that. And I am always surprised to find out what it is every single time. I'm like, oh, I know what that is. And like, you guys, look at this pink, hot pink lucite um, brooch. So this is going into my collection. I finally just was like, I'm getting it. <laughs> because they had one behind the glass and then I pulled open one of those drawers and guess what? This was in the drawer. It's $7.50 for this apple. And this is a Sarah Coventry apple. Um, yes, I love this. I don't know comps or anything on this. But every time I see this, I'm, I always like, oh, look at that. And then I'm like, oh, it's a Sarah Coventry. And then I don't end up getting it. So now I have it. I love, you guys know me. I love it when the glass or the lucite throws that colorful shadow. And it's just... It just looks so juicy, doesn't it? So anyways, there's that one. Let's just put these here so we can we can look. We can have our little our little friends right there. <laughs> okay, what is this one? Oh, another big This actually looks like a walnut, doesn't it? Like a textured walnut. Six dollars. I think this is a coral or something. Let's see. This also was in the brooches. So yes, coral right there. Um, I didn't look this one up. Let's let's do that together. Because some um, coral brooches can be collectible. All right, so you guys, this is my YouTube video that is still uploading. If you guys um, make YouTube videos yourself, you know how much time it actually takes for videos to um, come out. So I'm just waiting on that. Okay. So we have this one, Dimensional Coral Signed Walnut for $38 on Ruby Lane. So yes, other people thought it was a walnut. Um, 
anything else. So yeah, $38 from six, right? Is a really good flip. Let's see, sometimes it will say that it already sold. No, so actually this person has a 25% off, which not a lot of people shop on Ruby Lane unless they're collectors. Um, there's much more of a bigger audience on uh, eBay, in my opinion, but there are, I don't sell on Ruby Lane, but I know that if like, if you're a collector and you like a specific shop, you'll tend to buy more items from that shop. So there's a lot of repeat buyers on Ruby Lane. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look at um, eBay to, and just type in walnut coral brooch just to see what my competition is. Um, there's nothing. Okay, so there. it seems like that's the one, and this one is an excellent shape. So I probably will price it hot on the higher end, not the $29.99, maybe like $34.99, $39.99-ish, just because there's not a lot out there. And this is in really, really great shape. So, and you guys know me, I always tend to price on the higher side anyways, and then send out offers or take offers. And I also am not the kind of person that likes to race to the bottom. That's why I don't really run sales that much either, you guys. I send out my offers and then like that's about it um, because I don't like to keep bringing down the value of things that should keep their value, in my opinion. Um, I'm definitely not a fan. Okay, all right, we have this piece. Oh, this has like bubblegum thermoset lucite. And this was $7.50. Let's just, let's just take in this opulence. <laughs> this is so, oh my gosh. Look at this. So this has a lot of things going for it. Extremely romantic looking. All the rhinestones are very clear. And there, that bubblegum moon glow thermoset, which is like a plastic with the moon glow looking in it, a lot of people will also throw in the word lucite because it is semi um, opaque or transparent. And then let's see. Now I don't remember what this was or if it was anything. So let's see. Oh, look at this clasp. That is so lovely. Okay. So I'm going to look on the back real quick. $7.50 and I'm, it might not be marked. I might have to do more research into this. It does look like a coral piece just looking from the back or Lisner. It kind of looks Lisner to me. Sometimes with these box clasps, it will be on the back or on the sides right here or right here. It doesn't have either of those things, but this is simply stunning. Okay, so we're going to leave this over here. That is just pink yumminess. Oh, and I also am wondering, what if I put like Barbie girl in the title? Because you guys know that Barbie is like super hot, super trending right now from the movie and things like that sell. Okay. So I got these and these kind of like go along with this, but not really. These are a much lighter pink, but they kind of have that same style with the clear rhinestones, very romantic, pink lucite. And are these marked? Yeah, these are marked coral. So I'm not surprised because this one also does look coral, but yeah, so these are, these are so fun. Screwbacks. And these look very 1940s or 1950s to me. Gorgeous. And they have all the rhinestones. I found these in um, one of those drawers. That one I found in the drawer as well. All right, I have something falling out here. Let's see what this is. I know I have something absolutely fantastic in one of these and you guys will just die. All right, what is this? Okay, oh, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, let's just, okay, so $7. I don't think this has a maker, but let's just feast our eyes on this necklace. Let me show it up close. 
So this kind of looks like iris glass, but I'm not sure because it's it's only the hot hot darker pink and like an opaline looking glass. Um, where iris glass, I believe, has more of like a rainbow colored striping in it. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments, but this, these pieces right here are super unique and I think would uh, bring a lot of attention to a collector just seeing those pieces because I know brooches with these unique glass um, rhinestones do well. So this is a necklace, like a choker necklace with a hook on the back. Let's see. Yeah, not marked. And this is probably 16 to 18 inches if I had to guess. Let me see. My ruler is right here. Now the back needs to be cleaned, but it's like that normal, like, it's not um, damaged at all. Actually, it just kind of looks like a little bit of, like, oil slick look to that silver tone, which is not even a big deal. Um, it's just from the age and wear, so it's not, like, fair degree or anything. Oh my gosh, this is smaller than I thought. Okay, so 15 inches, so like a choker 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 style so this would lay right should this be one of my pieces I'm wearing <laughs> by the end of the video I kind of want to see what this looks like at the end see how how opulent I look okay so I lost a little bit of weight um so my neck is a little bit smaller than it once was so that's helping it go on uh, so yeah, it is a true choker. Can't see what I'm doing though. Okay, we got it. Whew. And I think it's centered. I think. Okay. Well, I will show you guys at the end of the video. Be a surprise. And then you guys will all want to buy it. I just know. All right. Let's see what this little little guy is. What are you? Oh, we have multi-chain going on. Oh, I remember. I remember. Okay, we have a pink theme going on. All right, you guys are going to think this is so sweet. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite piece is for sure. Okay, there's a lot of beautiful pieces today. Okay, so no maker's mark, but let's look at what we have. We have this double strand necklace. One is a little bit bigger, one is thinner. And then let's look at the owl. Normally I'm not like all about owls, but this one, look. Look, he has pink rhinestone eyes and a rose on its like cabochon belly. And this is glass. This is rose glass cabochon. Now the back doesn't say anything and then also the clasp is a fold over which also doesn't say anything but I mean how can I resist I have never seen anything like this this is absolutely so sweet adorable I would probably sell this for like 35 40 dollars if I just had to guess I mean I might be surprised and <laughs> might be selling for more but yeah so this was $7.50 and it is so stinking adorable. I love that. Okay, so that one's going right over there. Wait, what is this one? We have some earrings and we have... Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, okay. So this was only Five. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at this. It kind of has like a Damascene look to it where it has a white enamel that's like pooled in the raised uh, metal, but it's not Damascene. It has a very colorful AB coated rhinestone, all in really, really great shape. Um, so this is actually from a country and it's actually Western Germany. So it says it right there, Western Germany. Are you guys so surprised? 
I was so surprised. I want to see if there's anything like that out there. You guys want to see? <laughs> I totally do. Because I did not research that. I was just like, yes, Western Germany, beautiful thing. Yes, all day, $5. Okay, so we have this one that's similar-ish. But doesn't say Germany, and it was 32. Um, let's see. Yeah, I probably would have to spend a little bit more time with this because there's nothing. Mm -hmm. There's this one from Denmark, 1930s Denmark. Do we think it's that old? All right, now it's not popping up. Okay, so I'm going to have to research it. I would probably do... Um, white enamel West Germany brooch, just for starters, because um, Google Lens isn't giving me a lot. But yeah, this is so lovely and it's in really great shape. Definitely an older clasp style and gorgeous. Okay. All right, what are these? Let's see. These are signed Kramer. 550 and they are in excellent condition. I think I have a Kramer necklace that probably would go well with this. So this has like a, a different textured chain swag situation going on. It has an optic gold tone, textured gold tone at the top. Kramer is a good brand. It's not like super collectible, but what like the right pieces can be pretty collectible. So, um, these are lovely. This one's not marked, but this one is marked. Honestly, this looks like new old stock. That's how great of condition these are in. Yeah, they are like no one ever wore them kind of condition for sure. Like super, super nice. So I don't know what these are. Maybe like 1960s, maybe. Um, so yeah, really old, but they look brand new. Okay. Oh, this, this is the one. Should we, should we just look at it? You guys, <laughs> this is the one I paid the most for at this store and you guys will just die. Okay. So $48. We're going to put that over there. Say anything. It does. It says sterling. And it is simply glorious. So you guys have heard of micro mosaics. And now this one is truly a micro mosaic drop dangle sterling necklace. Like, look at this. Look at how beautiful. We're just not even gonna, we're just not even gonna talk. This is just so old and beautiful. Very, very, very small micro tiles in there. And then this is the tiny toggle clasp that I need to untangle, it looks like. This is very delicate. Oh my gosh! So $48, but I am definitely listing this for over $100. Uh, I saw a few people list theirs for over $200. And you can see why. This is definitely an older collectible piece. Sterling elements. Very old and romantic. Maybe I will try to put up on the screen how old this actually is. But this is a collector's piece for sure. This is not... <laughs> costume jewelry wearable today. This is this is a lovely feminine old piece. Okay, so are you guys wait, did you guys die? <laughs> did you guys I saw that it, um behind the glass and I was like that that's the one and they had it in a box and yeah it was it was glorious. It was so stunning. Alright we have a few more Okay, what are you? Oh, so $6. And this also has some really fun textured 
um, elements. So the these brown smoky marquee shaped have like a sawtooth or dog tooth or I don't even know prong set. And this one is like a textured, almost like a flower. And again, the same with the one I'm wearing right now is like brooches with these different elements go for a lot. And so we're going to try to see um, what these necklaces, or they might actually be like a part of a set, like, I don't know, like, um, uh, what am I thinking? Juliana or something. But they're open back, green, brown, and then this like purpley, um, iridescent coated. Yeah, so lovely. And then it's like in a V shape. Right there. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. Okay. Next. Next little present. Oh, okay. We have this tie clip. Now, there was a drawer with cufflinks and tie clips, and I think this is the only one that I pulled out um, because this is like a mid-century modernist designer right back here. Now, this, um, let me show you up closer. It's actually R-E-B-A-J-E-S. Rabajes or... Something like that. And it was like a mid-century modern um, like copper uh, men's designer, I believe, when I looked it up. And there were some pretty good comps. So this was only five. And I love selling mid-century copper jewelry. So yes, this one definitely spoke to me. And then, oh, there's a few things in here. Okay, this one was five. Oh, we see a C-class. We see some like gilded things happening. This is older and like, okay, let's just see. Okay. This is a very optic purple glass cabochon. Look at that. Like a, I don't know if it's moon glow but I don't I don't know it's very optic that's that's what I can say about it it's like tiger's eye but it's purple and then look at this like honestly like this is so pretty so so pretty I would say 1910s to 1930s if I had to guess I'm just guessing but that's mm, so oh, beautiful five dollars who can resist that is stunning. So if you guys have any more information on that, let me know. Yeah, stunning. Okay, these are interesting. Um, these were $4. And they're interesting because I just sold the brooch that probably went with these. And I got the, I got the brooch in the $2 bin at the same store. Um, and it sold pretty quickly. It's DCE Sterling. These are actually in better shape than the wreath brooch was, but it's like a matte silver and a shiny silver. So I uh, picked these up and yeah, DCE. Okay, so I think this might be the last little bundle and then we can look at the other pieces. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. When I see a very encrusted, beautiful box clasp, I'm like, sold. <laughs> I'm like, yes. So I can totally see, see someone wearing this for their wedding. So these faux glass pearls have a ivory slash yellowish tone to them. I could see this being like a really nice um, vintage style wedding necklace. And it is marked on the back. It says Kramer of New York right there on the back. So this is a lovely Kramer faux pearl hand knotted, I would say choker necklace, six dollars. And then look at this pearl. Look at that. That is awesome. 
Okay, so look at how beautiful all these things are together. Look at that. So many beautiful things. Yay. Okay, so now we have all of this. I'm gonna put these to the side so that we can dump all the things that I grabbed. Now these things I did not research. I just went off of like instinct. And um, a lot of things were just like no brainers. Some things I'm like, yeah, I'll try that for $2 because basically if I get a shop good a lot, um, things are around one or two dollars a piece anyways that I'm selling from a shop good a lot. So I do like um, getting things from this bin. They're very easy to list. So yeah, so let's find some matches and we can get in to this lovely jewelry. Okay, so this tie bar, yay. Um, it has multi-colored rhinestones in there. We have a ruby red, pink, clear, blue. On the back it says Anson Sterling. So this is a sterling and gemstone tie bar, which is so fantastic. So we have this sterling thing. I guess we can see with the Presidium to see if this is anything, um, anything worth move that right there like at the rhinestones or anything um but if not it's a glorious uh sterling tie bar okay so glass 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 okay so yes glass rhinestones but yay for two dollars that is awesome okay another tie bar oh copper and I thought this was interesting because I believe that this is a an old-fashioned razor so maybe like a barber's um, tie bar not marked but definitely is like copper MCM and I thought for two dollars this might be a collectible or a gift for a barber or maybe someone was a barber I don't know what this is called that little handheld <laughs> razor um, you guys know what I mean, but there might be a specific word for that that I can put in. So yeah, there might be a specific word for that that I could put in the title. I don't know. Is it like straight blade or straight razor? I don't even know. So got that one. We have these. My mom was like, are you sure you want these? Uh, I think that they're pretty cool. They look to be like 1970s with the wood and it's different wood like inlaid together so a light wood dark wood I thought these were really fun Oops. <clears throat> hoops for two dollars and I would probably take a picture like that or something um, not on my hand but <clears throat> so that people can see that they're hoops and that they have the different colors because sometimes design and things get lost depending on which angle you take a picture of okay we have that and we have the match. Should be easy to find because it is ginormous. Right? Where could it be? Oh, here it is. Alright, so these are some black, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> white metal and very dirty on the back, but I made sure that this can come off. So I believe this is just makeup. And it is by Napier. So these are some Napier, I would say 1980s or maybe even 90s. Um, fun, bold, white metal earrings. That could complete someone's set, possibly. Oh, these are gorgeous. I love these. I love these. If I, if, if I wore cufflinks, I would wear these. <laughs> because I love the light pink and the gold. Um, and I think that that might be painted pink and I'm not sure if these have a maker let's see yes they do oh these are Hickok USA and they say it right there um did not look these up but they are absolutely lovely maybe if someone has a pink themed wedding pink and gold I did <laughs> so yeah there's that one okay 
We have these monsters right here. Um, not marked, I don't think, but I thought these were some fun, bold screwbacks. I would probably take a picture of these in my hand. There we go, because they are very big, bold for screwback earrings, so I got those. Um, we have these funky earrings, which I have passed on a couple times that I've been there. And I'll show you a few more like this, but this time I was like, eh, for $2, they're easy to list and I think that they're fun. So again, screw back. They are layered, textured, like long dangle statement earrings. And another keyword you can use instead of statement, statement is like runway. I know a lot of people use that word as well. If it's like super bold and chic. I'm not sure if I would say these were runway, but those are fun. And then I got these. These are a pink swirled lucite. Now if I didn't know the term uh, swirled lucite, I probably wouldn't pick these up because I think that that specific wording, pink swirled lucite, maybe Barbie, Barbie core, <laughs> might, might be what sell these because I mean, they're not like super high quality or anything like that. They're just really fun, retro, swirled lucite earrings. And I can imagine these selling because of that. Okay, we have these funky, do we think 1960s? Um, look at these, very retro. Milk glass with a green and brown striping check look to them screw backs and it does say Japan on the back yeah that's milk glass and then we have oh this one I've sold um, this style several times before but I don't think I've sold one with a mother of pearl handle this is a swank tie tie clip so one part of your tie would go on one side and the other part of the tie would go on the other side. So your tie kind of goes through um, this situation and then the back of the tie would go um, in the smaller clip part. Okay, we have this one and this one. Now this looks to be either a genuine stone or glass, maybe like a fused glass to make this striping but it is cold and I'm not sure if this one is marked, but I thought it was really fun with this black and grayish silver tone coloring, whether it's glass or stone or something. I'm gonna look into this further. Okay, this one, these are pretty exciting. I was pretty, pretty excited about these, okay. Let's take a look at these. All right, there we go. Um, for one, they look really interesting and they're when they're like really modernist like this, it's very hard for me to date them because um, people have used the modernist style for a very long time. Um, so when I looked on the back, they actually are signed and they're signed Sterling, let me see up close. Sterling Creed. So it's Creed Sterling. All right, so we're going to look up together because I was really happy, pleasantly su surprised that um, these did pretty well. So Creed Sterling Cufflinks. All right, so we have... I'm, I didn't find one that was exactly like this. So we have these that have a dove on them for $29.74. We have this with that same dove, but not like these, $45.50. And so it seems like the ones with this back black background seem to be higher priced than just the shiny. Um, so it looks like these are like uh, modernist religious type simple symbols. So we have $69.99, $64.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, $
This set is $129.99, and then this set is $119.99. So, for $2, you guys, we are doing pretty okay with these sterling silver cufflinks. Again, this was like a big bin with cufflinks, and I literally um, had like a few minutes to try to find matches for the cufflinks. Um, so I was really happy to get some of these matches that I did. Yay. Those are pretty exciting for me. All right. What is this? I'm not even sure if I meant to get this, honestly. <laughs> did I? I'm not even sure. But after I was, well, like when she was counting things and she counted this, I was like, oh, I don't think I meant to grab that. But it was like, it was like the end, they're already closed, and she was counting up all my things. So, um, I'm not mad. It was only $2, and I can definitely make money on this. So this is a hematite, which is that, like, gray stone. It's like a marquee style, or marquee shaped, um, rhinestone hematite open feather brooch. It definitely has an older clasp right here. So... Not super old, but not modern either. So there's that one. Okay, we have these. <laughs> Aren't these great? So I I do pretty decently with the um, enameled flower brooches, and these are some enameled three-dimensional tulip earrings. Again, not marked, but I believe these are like 1960s tulip flower statement fun dimensional earrings and they're like a teal blue color yeah I would be surprised if these stuck around for long because of the color and just the style and that I don't see earrings like this too often I see a lot of brooches but not the earrings so that was fun okay we have these which look Oh, oh, I don't think I knew what these were. Let's see, are they marked at all? Um, not that I'm seeing. Okay, so it looks like maybe the back of a stagecoach. Okay, so what I was thinking that these were was like a um, heraldic crest, um, which I actually do pretty well with the white and the gold, like enamel crest looking men's jewelry or women's jewelry but now that I'm looking at it it looks like the back of a stagecoach so I mean two dollars I really can't go wrong um but yeah that's interesting I'm going to have to research those oh these were probably the first cufflinks that I picked up I love that these are also like a good dimension three-dimensional cufflinks um and they, these are marked swank, very like retro, but they have like a faux pearl in the inside. So those are fun. And we have, let's see. You guys can probably see matches this whole time. <laughs> the whole time I'm sitting here. All right, here we go. We have a match. So this, these look like angel wings or, hmm, they actually go like this so maybe angel wings or something but these do have some beer degree but these are Monet so if you guys don't know Monet is a really great classic bread and butter brand that sells well for me and some do better than others but they're always it's always like a pretty good seller and for me Monet has been actually doing really well in bundles so people will buy bundle of multiple pieces of Monet in one bundle so yeah so I got these these are fun I haven't sold these before silver tone and they have that like slow closing um clasp again the clip so that's a nicer um comfortable quality earring all right we have this and we have this can you guys guess what this one is you can totally tell by the textured leafy flower design. These are Lisner. Here we go. Right? Do they say Lisner? Pretty sure. 
they're yeah Lisner and they're just screw backs but again I do like picking up Lisner it's a pretty good um, brand for me to sell as well and um, a lot of people like to find pieces for their sets so yeah got that one Ooh, these are so pretty and romantic. Okay, so these totally remind me of 1928 brand jewelry. Um, I don't know. These are not. These are not marked at all. Um, but they totally have that, like, Victorian revival look. Faux pearl cabochon. I think that these have just a really good um, look to them. Very feminine, elegant, Victorian revival style. And so I think that these would do well using those key terms. Okay, and we have these big, bold ones. I've passed on these before because this brand doesn't do super well. All right, this fell off. Actually, this looks pretty comfortable. So it just slips on there. Interesting. So the brand is M.E. Um, and I know I've looked it up, but I'm not sure what it is now and I believe it's more modern um these might still be vintage but I got them this time because they are just in excellent condition and they're very bold and I've learned that uh oh I lost the back of one I've learned that I can use the terms puffy hollow you know statement clip on and for some reason people really like their puffy hollow <laughs> statement clip-on earrings because I've been doing pretty well with them so I got those and then we have this this is this definitely feels like onyx and looks like marcasite so kind of like a Led Zeppelin meets art deco <laughs> tie clip tie bar um but yeah it definitely well it needs to be cleaned for one but it's so interesting. I'm wondering, maybe this is sterling because it is, I feel like this is onyx and because they do that a lot where they have onyx with marcasites. So yeah, this is just pretty cool. I think this would be really um, desirable for a man, a man's tie. So there's that one. And then we have, <laughs> this one yes okay Ooh. all right we have these these feel like enamel over porcelain if I had to guess just by feeling but these are marked again so these are marked Victoria Fleming New York Victoria Fleming New York cufflinks are collectible and they have some pretty funky and fun retro designs um, this design in particular, like just the swirled, like modernist enamel doesn't do like super well. Like I think there's just like animals and a lot of really funky things happening, but, um, these are still probably collectible. They're orange, black, and white. Oh, I thought that this was part of the design. It looks like a chip, but I'm just going to note that they still look really fun. Still a collectible, um, name. And yeah, so there's that. Ooh, look at these. These are enamel over copper. Love that mid-century look. So you can see the copper on the back. No maker, but there is a patent number and just fun, bright green and funky spots cufflinks. Then we have <laughs> this tie bar I thought that was interesting it's like a celluloid horse on a wood disc so horse collector they might like that one and then we have what are these okay are these marked at all oh they are marked okay let me see if I can figure this out so they are marked MX2 zero eight and I have not heard of that <laughs> have you okay so let's see mx208 I have no idea you guys but these are a fun textured not clip-on earring I'm going to want to research these and 
Ah, I don't know what that is. MX208. Okay, we have these. Let's see. So, are these marked at all? No, they're just beautiful 1980s in my opinion. You guys are probably like, there's a cabochon missing or there's a faux thing missing. Yes, I found it in the bin and there it goes right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to keyword these a lot. Maybe 1980s or 19, early 1990s. Um, and then it has a little beautiful rhinestone at the top. Just have to glue that one back in. Same, not, um, no maker's mark, but again, some nice faux pearl and gold tone earrings. You guys might think I'm crazy for just picking up so many things without name brands, but I think I do pretty good at using uh, some good keywords and, um, my thing lately is that I have enough jewelry in my store that people create bundles based off of their style. So I don't mind picking up things that can fit into people's aesthetics. And if they want to buy these for $10 and I pick them up for two, that is a good buy me. So let's see. Oh, this. Okay. Look at this tie bar. It's broken, but I couldn't leave it. It is signed by the artist right there in the etching. Not even sure. I think it says Bill. B-I-L-L. -L. Um, so when you see like artists sign stuff that looks Native American, I think that it is. I think it's sterling, turquoise, onyx, and coral, and mother of pearl shell in this little, um, I don't know if he's a dancer or something, whatever he is, but yeah. So I think it just is missing that little like spring thing. But if anything, I could sell this as like a sterling crafting piece. Someone would probably, they could even turn it into a ring. I mean, you guys, if somebody wants this, you can make me an offer. <laughs> like that is, that is, I, I just had to have it. Um, oh, and this again. Okay. So this might've been like the same person donating. So this is what it's missing right here. Or maybe I can pull one of these off of a, off of another one and fix it. But again, I don't think this one is marked, but again, it's, it looks like the sterling and coral, I'm sorry, turquoise chunks for $2. And now this doesn't look like fake turquoise. This looks like the real deal. It has all the pitting and it has um, the sterling, like how they, how they make the sterling where they have like that sawtooth edge and then they bend the sterling over when they hand make the, the pieces. So this was a definite score. Yay. These look like older Art Deco cufflinks, possibly sterling silver. They're not marked, but they have that Art Deco look, that black enamel possibly and yeah they like this only moves back and forth like this um and definitely older and we can see if those are like sterling okay we have these clip-ons so these are like lily textured clip-on earrings not marked but fun oh this, you guys, do you remember in my like last video where I said I needed to find the other ones because I got a match that wasn't a match? Well, I found them, and this one is the Crown Trifari Swirled Button Gold Tone Clip-On Earring, and this one is the Castle Cliff, and it's textured with like a cross-hatching design. So, yay, we found the matches, and all is right in the world. Hooray. <laughs> okay. We have this. It says DuPont and there's a golf. And I know that things that are branded with business names can be collectible. You guys might already know that, but things like tie tacks, lapel pins, and then obviously tie bars can be collectible. Like some people might have worked for the company. What does this say? It says Robin's Company Adelboard, Adelboro or something. So don't even know, but thought that that was a good bet no matter what. 
All right, we have these leaves, which are, oh, they need to be cleaned in there. But these are Sarah Coventry. They have a lot of, well, they have matching, like, brooches and things to this set. So these are just some Sarah Coventry clip-ons, silver and gold tone, and I need to clean them. We have these, which are real sand dollars on these clip-on earrings. So those are lovely. They seem to have some kind of iridescent coating on them, maybe? But lovely little, very fragile earrings that were in this like bin that I had to rescue them. I feel like these are Napier or something. Like they are, again, when I see these metal cluster earrings, they have been doing really well for me. They are really nice weight, excellent condition, not marked. But as you guys know, like literally on Etsy, I think it is, I think like a couple pairs went to France <laughs> that were unmarked, but like really nice gold tone metal earrings like this. So, got those. Okay, we have, what else? We have this one and this one. All right, so these have like an interesting like flower back. I know, is it Kramer? No, who is it? Who is it that does the flower back sometimes? Um, I can't think. And sometimes they'll put a mark on the side, but these are some screwbacks, and then look how beautiful these are. So it's like a flower spray in an open open circle. I'll have to research these more. Rhinestones are in excellent excellent condition. Prong set, and oh, is it Cremens? Maybe Cremens does the flower screwback sometimes. I'll have to research that more. Okay, we have uh, this one and this one. Faux pearl, AB rhinestone, like leaf clip-ons. And these are marked Judy Lee. So these are not in like tip-top shape, but they're still really lovely. There is a little bit of like gold tone loss to the tips. But overall, I think for the name, Judy Lee, a good deal for $2. Okay, we have this one and we have this one. These look like <laughs> wheels. Um, and then they have like a star thing on the back. I don't remember getting these. I really don't. Uh, why did I get these? I have no idea. Ask me in a few days, maybe I will remember, but maybe they're marked somewhere. I don't remember getting those. Um, we have this one. Oh, okay, so this, these are a hot mess, but I have rhinestones to fix these. And once I do, these Crown Trifari babies should bring me some really good money, because A, they're Crown Trifari, and B, they're like a bridal rhinestone party going on <laughs> like they're just gorgeous and yeah they're a hot mess but I definitely wanted to at least try for crown trifari since it's been doing so well for me lately just get the faux pearls and some of the very small rhinestones in there I like honestly I've been doing like sometimes for crown trifari I've been getting over $50 or more for some of the pieces so I thought I might as well try to see what I can do for those. Look at how lovely these are. So I think that this type of cufflink or tie bar does bring attention to collectors. Um, something about that like that that I don't know that glass where it like again like throws that light in a really nice way and then it has like a knot design. This says patent number. So basically all I can really do is look up the patent number to see if it gives me any more information, but these are lovely. Okay, we have a knot and then we have another knot. Now again, these have like a flower on the back of the screw, but if you look on the bottom right here of these earrings, they actually 
say Napier Sterling right there on the bottom. So that's interesting. I think it was during World War II, a lot of costume designers started using Sterling because the war efforts had to use, was it iron maybe? Or some, like it was a, a metal that they used a lot in, in like uh, costume jewelry alloyed metal. So then they started using Sterling for a lot of their pieces. So this probably was around that time that Napier did this. So fun screw back, not earrings. Okay, you guys might see that I have like these cufflinks all with that really pretty like red, red thing that throws the light so beautifully. Another one with that red tip. I just really like selling men's accessories that have that look. I tend to do pretty well with that, especially when you picture it on a white background and you can see the shadow of the color underneath. It's very beautiful. Okay, these are some lovely clippies, not marked, but they are really pretty. They have this little red bead, AB coated dangle in the inside and how can we resist? Those are so pretty and cute. A little cage teardrop. Love those. All right, we have these. These are some old cufflinks. Look at these. Look at the construction. Probably just brass, maybe? But they're train. And you guys know, people love their trains. So, yeah, it seems to have been hammered from the other side. So I'm not sure if that's a repose train, but yeah. Okay, we have these, which totally remind me of Coro. I've had, I've sold some Coros that are similar, or I might still have them. But they are layered discs with this like orange rhinestone <laughs> on top. Aren't these interesting? So yeah, we have those layered, and then we have these screw back screwbacks, which are like layered apples. Isn't that weird? Right? Isn't that weird? So there's rhinestones and then it has like this little thing happening. I don't even know you guys. What are, what do we think of these? What are we thinking? We're thinking they're weird, but you know, weird cells. So yeah, no mark that I can see. So interesting. All right, we have this one with a red rhinestone and this one is Speedel. Speedel, obviously we know Speedel from watches and some like name bracelets, ID bracelets. So I don't pick up Speedel a lot for men's like accessories, but I know that it's hot, a little bit higher end than like Swank or um, Anson or things like that. So I happy to find that one. We have these clip-on earrings. These are Monet again. Yes, Monet for $2. I think I would just pick them up all the time. If they're not like completely broken, <laughs> I just always will pick up Monet for like $2. That is that is a definite yes for me. White coating on the chain. These might be 1980s or 1970s. Um, because I see a lot of plastic Monet jewelry in the 1980s era. That's why I say that. They do like navy blues with the white a lot. So there's that. We have these gorgeous. Let's see if we can find the other one. Where could it be? Um, somewhere. Oh, here. It's, it's hidden. All right. So these are marked. I do see it. So these are Louis Seagal, which is a nice brand, a nice vintage brand, not like super um, run and spend all your money on Louis Seagal. It doesn't like sell super quick or for a lot, but I could not resist these AB coated uh, briolette dangles. So this is what the shape is, is a briolette. That is definitely a keyword to use. I do like the, that these are branded. They have this extra thing in the back for these pierced earrings. So a lot of good things. And again, another Briolette crystal um, earring. These have the like 
white or silver tone posts so they're not gold or anything but people really like their briolette cut crystals because of how it throws the light it is so gorgeous gorgeous these are gorgeous like and they're timeless honestly they're timeless gorgeous and timeless this is not this is not fast fashion at all these are stunning little crystals okay we have this these are just no name but they honestly feel like Monet quality and I have never seen this texture like before it feels like it's metal but it feel it's so tight I don't know how else to describe it like it feels like tight gold thread woven around this so it gives it a really shiny fun texture and um, look to it these are dangles and yeah so vintage I don't know how else to describe it besides like highly textured but those are fun again we have these I feel like these are Napier or something right you guys they're puffy and they're metal um, dangles I feel like I need to research these more because they definitely have a good weight, a good costume jewelry feel, very chic. These are some Avon clip-ons. I've been doing good with Avon this weekend. Um, so these have like a good dimension to them. Avon doesn't sell for a lot, but they are, again, good bread and butter. Usually you can Google Lens your Avon and things will pop up for you and it will tell you like the year, the year or the style name or something like that. We have these. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely love these clear rhinestone screw backs and clip on earrings. I just have been listing a lot lately and these I, I got because I can also use the keyword cross in it because they are in the shape of a cross. So it could be a little bit more desirable than just a um, clear rhinestone cluster or dangle. These I believe are Monet or something very much like it. I don't think they're marked, but um, I, what does it say? Oh, patent pending. Um, I've listed some very much like this. I think they were gold and they were Monet. So these might be Monet. They're clip-ons. This little part goes under the ear. Yes. Okay, so a lot's been happening since I changed out the battery. <laughs> you guys. Okay, so not only did my video launch, yay, so finally that went out, um, but I can hear from the other room, which is the playroom. The girls are cleaning up right now, and they were like, Gideon took off his diaper, and there's a turd on the floor. <laughs> so, uh, daddy is dealing with that, and I am continuing to play with joy with you guys. Daddy, my husband, James knows that um, he is gone a lot for work. So when it's my turn in my workroom, he kind of knows that I kind of just have my own time to myself for the most part. And then I try to be up, uh, up to bed by 10 p.m. So yeah, so that's basically, this is my time. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's look at these clip-ons. These are glorious. They kind of look like carved mother of pearl, um, but they're not. So I don't know. Are they carved conch shell? They're something. They're definitely something. I don't think that they're just a regular jasper or quartz. They look very nice. They're very cold. These are clip-ons. No marks. Sometimes it will like have a faint um, mark of like 1 uh 12K or something, which means like gold filled. These do not. I wouldn't be surprised if they were. Definitely have the look, but there's those fun earrings. 
We have these fun earrings. Again, these are very heavy. Like this whole thing is just a big mass of metal. Very high quality. Um, again, these might be 1960s. No mark, but very surprised that there's no mark. Like These feel very, very nice. Very high quality for vintage. They have that very muted textured gold tone. Lovely. We have these. I picked these up because they have this back right here. And now I've tested this backing before. Let me show you guys. It is bigger than a normal black backing and it is like a, I believe that Native American jewelry uses this backing a lot and it's sterling silver. I don't think it's marked sterling silver, but um, they are sterling silver. So then it made me think like, hmm, is this like an artisan type, maybe possibly Native American piece? Um, so these are like brass panels with glass or stone on the outside. And you guys know me, I love my boho jewelry and definitely artisan jewelry, love that. So these are fun. So that's kind of what drew me in. This one doesn't have one, but yeah, that's kind of what got me thinking like, hmm, what is this? Okay, we have this, let's find the match. Then we have this, look at how fun and atomic these are. Okay, so it's a cage with like a, star in them. Someone who loves retro is going to fall in love with these. They are lightweight. They are metal, all metal. And yeah, these are so interesting. They are not clunky clip-ons. These are nice, lightweight, delicate looking dangles. Again, it's like almost tricking me that it looks like it could possibly be marked something. It really does, <laughs> but maybe not. Okay, we have these. These are a moon glow. Yeah, they're glass. So these are moon glow, not thermoset or anything. I don't think, they sound like glass. Um, I don't know if they're marked, but oh yeah, they are, swank. So moon glow, like a grayish blue swank cufflink. Oh, I got these orange thermoset beauties. A lot of people might think they're ugly, but a lot of people do collect thermoset, that's for sure. And it's an orange thermoset, so that's fun. Bright orange, bright orange. Um, no mark, they kind of have a Lisner look to them and quality. So there's those. We have these, very 1980s chic. Kind of like a half hoop and they are marked Napier, right there. So black enamel with the gold. We have these dangle, like leaf screw back. There we go. It's interesting. They kind of look feminine, but then they have like this little pokey point on the bottom that's a little bit more masculine. Um, no mark, but they are articulated. So they have like that, those hinged movements. That is a good word to use, is articulated. Then those. We have these blue enamel screw backs and these are marked sterling on the back of these. It's interesting because this one is marked sterling around the circle and this one is just marked sterling like just straight across. And, but they are a match. They're some blue, I don't know what dogwood. I'm not sure. What is a blue flower? <laughs> uh, something. We have those. We have these. These are definitely moon glow thermoset. Though these are like, these are these are it. Like, let me see. These are not as glowy at all, at all. These are like whoa. These glow. These are some statement cufflinks. Plastic. So those are fun. Even though they look like nothing <laughs> to most people. If you know, you know. These these are them. Okay, we have this one, which I need to find the little, because I threw that one in as well. They better not have put it back. 
All right, we have these dichroic butterfly wing screw backs. So you see that like blue iridescence with usually like a palm tree bird type scene is on <laughs> the butterfly wing. That is very, uh, very much indicative of the Morpho butterfly jewelry. A screw back and that is a butterfly wing back there. Okay, we have these. Oh, that looks like a hematite ball. What are these? Oh, these are marked. So these are marked sterling. And they're marked... What are they marked? Sir... Sorrento. Sorrento sterling. So this might be a hematite ball and... Genuine pearls. Oh, wow. For $2, you guys. Can you believe it? Sorrento Sterling Screwbacks. Now I'm going to want to look that up. Okay, so let's see. There's people commenting on my video. Yay. Sorrento. So if you guys haven't commented, go ahead. <laughs> Comment on this video. It, uh, I love reading your guys' comments. Sorrento Sterling. Maybe I did not spell it right. Okay. S-U-R-R-E-N-T-O. Sorrento Sterling. Well, there is a ring for $50. And that's it. <laughs> that's all that is coming up. So, I don't know. That is interesting, though. That's for sure. Okay. We have these. Oh, these are Crown Trifari. Love, and they're in really great shape. So yay, I don't have to fix anything. Let's find the other one. Look at these beautiful dangles. Excellent condition. Super delicate. Crown Trifari. These do not have the copyright symbol. So you can date these to approximate date, whether it has Crown Trifari, with the copyright symbol, without the copyright symbol, or if it's patent pending. And I believe, I could be wrong, but a lot of the patent pending jewelry is around the time that, um, uh, Alfred, it's around the time that Alfred Felipe um, designed a lot of the jewelry, which Alfred Fr Felipe Crown Trifari is very, very collectible. Okay, so here's the one that's missing a moon glow glass rhinestone. And we found it, and I put it in the bunch. So they better have put it in the bag, because I did have it. Oh, there's a little rhinestone here. So where did that come from? We need to save that one. <laughs> Yay! That's what happens with like these $2 things. They do not wrap them up. So things get damaged. Okay, let's just get through this. And we have more Crown Trifari. They're just little black studs. Clip-on earrings. We have this one and this one. These are just faux pearls, but they're sterling. They're on sterling screwbacks. So little chunks of grapes or something, champagne colored. We have these two, which are Avon textured crescent wave clip on. No, oh, they're kind of like angel wing, right? Angel wings. And then we have these two. This does look sterling. Genuine, natural, screw back, um, pearl, these are real pearls. And yeah, I, I think that these are sterling or something. These are nice. All right, we have these. Again, we have, these are also genuine pearl and it says DCE again. So DCE 120th. 14 karat gold filled. So we have the we have the ones that are over here, which I paid four four dollars for, and then I have these, which I paid two dollars for. I actually think these are prettier. Okay, 
We have these sweet clippies which have the amber tone rhinestones and the white milk glass rhinestones. Very sweet clip-ons. Oh, these look very atomic. Missing one rhinestone. Maybe that's where that rhinestone came from. Um, faux pearl, but again, I can use that word atomic, screw back, fun, yay. These look, I, I could swear, like, don't these so look very Swarovski to you? Very, very, they look, they look, I'm like surprised that there's no mark on them. They look very, very Swarovski, very sparkly, um, like a cubic zirconia where it, like, zir cubic zirconia stones throw a lot of sparkle and a lot of light. Uh, same thing with, like, Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. But, yeah. So, like, a marquee-shaped clip-on. Lovely. And we did not find that. I'm going to have to look in that bag again to see where that little stone is because I only got those because they had that stone. <sighs> okay. So, then we have these beautiful AB coated white enamel leaf floral clip on earrings. Are these marked? No. But yeah, these would match a lot of the vintage um, AB coated jewelry. And yay! So that is that. All right, you guys. Feast your eyes. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. True choker right there. There we go. This is what this looks like on. And I believe women um, back when they wore this kind of jewelry naturally <laughs> in the day had thinner necks um, because I am six foot and not a lot of women were tall and broad and as big as me. So this probably like laid a little bit lower but it's still really pretty. Um, anyways, yay! This was a long haul. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it, seeing some beautiful jewelry, got some ideas of what you might want to pick up in the future, um, and maybe learn something new. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. Bye guys!